Hi, my name is Gordon White, and in this screencast I'd like you to take a look at the smudge tool, which you can find in the toolbar here. If we just hold down where it's normally the blur tool, if we just hold down, we're finding the smudge tool down at the bottom there. Now the smudge tool is quite an interesting little feature uh, of uh, Photoshop Elements. It allows you to literally do as it says, smudge, and you can create some really nice and interesting effects. For instance, what we'll try and achieve here is like a blur effect. Now, I'll give you a quick um, idea of how this tool works. At the minute we've got it on size 170, and you can see we've got the strength on 100. Now, these are the two tools you really need to be altering. On 100, that's pretty. Uh, that's going to give you a pretty strong smudge. If we just do it on the top corner here, you can see it moves it all, all together. So that's too much. So we'll undo that. And we'll reduce this down to, say, just around about 50% mark. And then what we'll do is we'll literally just, around the edge of the images, the, the flower, sorry, is just pull away, holding down and just pulling at an angle away from it. And create a nice little effect of a blur. Obviously we can we can go further afield and just keep playing with it until we're quite happy. We can make the brush head a little bit smaller so we can get into tighter areas. But as you can see with this smudge tool we can create some really interesting effects. Also, I mean obviously it wouldn't apply to this, but you can also use it as a a tool to sort of smooth out blend in cracks um, and creases etc. Now this could be used on uh, for wrinkles on faces so we'll just go back in there we'll move, reduce this down a little bit again and um, obviously we wouldn't do this on a flower but we'll just to give you a little idea if we just keep going over this you're actually seeing that we're moving removing the um, the creases we're just blending it in so the smudge tool, a really interesting tool to, to play around with, one that I would definitely recommend taking a look at and trying and get some really nice interesting looks and effects. It's another screencast from elementbox.com.